Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you、uh, a trick of how to split a master tab into multiple sub tabs with just one click.、Um, so to start with, it does require a little bit of higher level macro skills,、uh, but I find it super super helpful for my work. So that's why I still want to share that with you. And I still think this is something that someone with no macro skills can still learn as beginner and can apply this kind of codes to their、um, Excel database. So、um, if you find it a little bit hard to follow, don't worry. You can re-、uh, repeat the video, watch it a few times, and as always, I will have the codes shared in the description for you to copy and test for your own. Okay, so. What we are trying to do here is,、uh, let's say you have a、uh, a set of database, something like what we have here, and、um, for some reason you need to split by certain criteria. For example, let's say in our case,、uh, we want to split by the department. So you see, we have、um, those many department, and basically we want to have finance as a department. HRS department, ITS department,、uh, with only the employees in those departments,、uh, in it, and we want it to be the same format as a master spreadsheet. So、um, this is something that you can always just filter out the kind of employees and then copy into another new sheet, blah blah blah. But then. That would be really tedious, and it's very easy to make mistakes. So, how do we do this with macro?、Um, and basically, you just do it with one click. So, this is a more authentic methods that I'm gonna share with you. So, to start off, the first thing you need to do is to name your、um, database. So, for us,、uh, we are selecting all the data, including the heading. So you have the header row selected, and you go Shift Control down, and then you select all the data in the range, and then you name it something like Master Data, or anything else you prefer.、Um, and the second thing you need to do、um, is to find、uh, to、uh, filter out a list to to write a list of、uh, the kind of、uh, Criterias that you want to split for. So, for for example, in our case, it's department. So we want a department list with the unique reference to each of the departments here. So how do we do that?、Uh, a very easy way to do this is by、um, selecting the column. That's what I would always do.、Um, select the full column by going on the top,、uh, and then go copy. And then open a new sheet, and then just go on whatever column, and then you go paste、uh, value, and then you go to data, remove duplicates, and then you have only the unique value for all the departments that you need.、Um, I would. Usually try to sort、um, in some order just to make it neat for my use.、Um, I would also bold、um, the heading, and then the next thing you need to do is to name this range because this is the code that you're gonna use for splitting into multiple tabs later on. So here, what you need to be aware of is to select. Only the unique departments without the heading, and then when you select them, also name it. Let's say the way I want to name it: split code. You can name it department or anything you want, but just keep that in mind because that's what you're gonna later use in the、um, mass、uh, in the macro code. So then you have the name ready, and then click enter. And here you go. You have the name as split list. So now, if you go click on this down arrow, you would have those two named ranges in in this spreadsheet. If you、um, want to know more about named ranges, you can check my other video on the top right hand side and to learn more about named ranges. 
Um, okay, so now we have the two named ranges and then we can start with our macro codes. And also you can always reference my previous uh, videos on mac uh, macros for beginners um, with the reference of the playlist on the top right. Um, for our use today, um, we can always go to developer and then video, uh, visual basics. And then here we go. So this is the code um, that we're going to use for today's use. Um, and I'm going to decode it for you. I'm not writing it one uh, on spot because I want to save you time in this video. Um, but I do want to explain to you what the code is about. So um, the first part, so we, we know that um, the sub and end sub. And then the first part, um, all the green ones are actually notes on my steps. And you see they have the um, astro, uh, astro free uh, uh, on the site. Apostrophe on the site, uh, which means that they're not actual codes. They're just um, the notes. Um, and basically, we need three steps to do this. So first step is to copy the master sheet. So copy it um, basically to something else. I'm doing it ma uh, manually to show you the steps. And then second, when you copy, uh, after you copy it, then you rename it to some kind of like department. And then we want to filter by department and delete the rows that's not applicable for this department. For example, let's say if this is a sales department um, and we want to filter out um, only the sales department by deleting all the other departments. And then now you see we have all the cells. So basically this is the way we, how we do, how we create one tab manually. Um, but then with macro, we also have a third step, which is after you finish doing this one tab, then go back to this code list and then move to the next department and then do the same thing for that department. So um, I'm deleting this because this is by manual work. I don't want to do manual work. I just want to have the codes here. So let's see what we have in the codes. So the first thing is to say, okay, define split code as range, uh, which is like cell reference or uh, like a, uh, a number of cells reference. Sheet master select, here we go. And then we want to set the split code, which is a reference in the macro code as the range split code, which is actually what we are seeing here. So, and then my code is saying that for each cell in the split code, uh, we want to copy the master after the last worksheet and then name the active new sheet as the value of the cell. So let's say if my cell is finance, then I'm going to name the new copy the sheet to finance. And then with this new active sheet with the uh, name of finance, um, and because it's copied, then we also have the range of data called master data. Remember that is the master data that we selected, um, we want to auto filter them. So we want to auto fil filter field number six. What is field number six? Let's look at our master data selection. So field um, column field number six, you see the count here, the six. This is the department column is the number six, and this is the column that we want to filter on. And our criteria is filter out all the uh, um, all the f uh, values in column six that does not equal to cell value, which does not equal to finance. And then with all those selected. I'm offsetting one row, one row down. So it was, let's say it was selecting 
this data set, I'm asking Excel to go down one, one row, which is essentially going down to here so that I'm keeping the header row. And then for all the cells visible, see all the cells visible here, I'm deleting the entire row. And now um, this, um, this direction is finished. And my next line of code is basically saying, well, now we've deleted all the cells and all the rows that we, we don't need on that tab. Um, now let's outer filter and show all the data. So if, because we've deleted all the ones that we don't need, now all the ones that we uh, need should be shown on the tab. And then after we finish this, we move on to the next cell in the split, uh, split code, which is say HR, which is next is IT, da, 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 da. So this is really what the code is saying. And uh, now let's see how it works. So one way to, so you need to go to, on to the master spreadsheet and then open your um, macro window, you can click on this run sub, uh, which is also um, F5 to show the results. Um, you can also do it uh, the more traditional way, which is adding a bottom, which I, um, I can do it here. And I want to make it split um, sh uh, sheets. And then I want it to be, oh no, split shit. Uh, okay, I guess that's what I need. Um, so we are signing the, uh, the macro that we just uh, explained and then we say, we name it as split sheet. Okay, now we click on this and then let's see what happens. Check it out. So now we have all those different departments. And uh, you see for each of those, um, for each of those tabs, we have only the employees in that department. And we have all the tabs in exactly the same format. So I hope you find it cool. Like personally, I, I just really find that this trick has helped me tremendously saving my time and make my work more authentic. Um, and here is a code as a recap. Um, remember the three steps. Uh, I'm going to have the codes in the description. If you find this helpful, please help to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, please challenge me with your smart questions and I will be really happy to answer it. Thank you.